Well, hello, 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 everyone out there in Tarot Land. This is your girl, the Zen Libran, and welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel, Zen Libran Tarot. What's happening? What's happening? Peace out there to everybody. How you living? How you living? How you live? I hope everybody's doing swell. Yeah, and doing it well. You know what I'm saying? That's the dramatics. Y'all know that's my favorite group if y'all follow me. You know what I'm saying? What's going on out there, Divine Feminine? Well, I'm here for you guys. You know, I'm here for you ladies. I'm here to let you know who wants to hook up with you. Who is in your energy? Who is crushing on you? Who wants to date you? Possibly wants to marry you? I'll let you know about all the opportunists, all the people just trying to hit it, you know what I'm saying, and quit it. I'll let you know what's going down over here, you know what I'm saying? Let you know the attitude of this person, his behaviors, his characteristics. And the ultimate decision is yours, you know what I'm saying, if you want to hook up with this person or not. But I'm here to help you decipher if this is a prince or a frog, okay? And I want to reiterate, just because this person is in your energy, does not by any means mean that you need to hook up with this person. I'm just giving you the low low on this person that's sniffing around because they're always following behind us trying to smell it. You can smell it. You can smell it. That's what they want, man. Everybody wants the punani. You know what I'm saying? It's the tool that the divine has given us to rule. You know what I'm saying? You know, what else is better than it on the face of this earth? Nothing, nothing. So you got to know what you're sitting on, divine feminine. That is your power. That is your power source. Okay? All right? Okay? Well, the Divine Feminine, we letting um, know who want to hook up with them today is my Gemini. We letting you know who's in your energy for the month of July and who's sniffing around. Okay? All right, Gemini. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. That who's trying to hook up with you. The um, energy of this reading is ups and downs. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. And it's a frog. <laughs> so maybe this, we starting off as this person being a frog. <laughs> we shall see what ups and downs mean as the records reveal the message, okay? All right, but that's the energy, ups and downs, okay? You been going through some ups and downs with a damn frog? <laughs> we do that, don't we? You know what I'm saying? All right, spirit, come on in here, divine. Let us know. Let us know what is going on with this person in my Gemini's energy who wants to hook up with them. Is this person a frog or a prince? Maybe this person is coming in the energy being a frog because that's a frog right there. Low vibe and red, passionate, lustful, envious, jealous, straight up in his root chakra. You know, it could be that, you know, but we're going to see. What's up with this person in my Gemini's energy? Who's trying to hook up with my divine feminine? Who's trying to hook up with my divine feminine? What is this person's characteristics? What is his attitude? How does he behave? What is his intentions for my divine feminine? My Gemini. Talk to a spirit. Give us the low low on him. Hmm. This is somebody that wants a relationship. This is a person that wants to have a relationship. Uh, you do for me, I do for you. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. This is the type of relationship that you want. A relationship where you guys practice reciprocity. I'm there for you, you there for me. I do unto you as you do unto me. A very balanced, loving, harmonious relationship. Yeah. This is, this is good. Starting off, yeah. Okay. Okay. This person is in his feelings, too. Um, this person could be a water sign. Okay? This person is in his feelings about you, too. Okay? All right. And what else about this person? Spirit, what else about this person that wants to hook up with my Gemini? He want to be in a relationship. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hmm. This is somebody that's ready to end a cycle of being a devil. They want to end this cycle of not being with you. This person looks at you as his divine counterpart. This person feels that you guys could create a lot of things together. This person feels that you guys have a spiritual connection. 
that you're destined to be together. Okay. Yeah, this could be somebody that uh, just got out of a partnership with someone that's got just got a divorce. This is also somebody that is a hard worker, very determined. Um, for us, uh, um, resources, you don't have to worry about it because this person will work two and three jobs. Um, this is a person that's very determined to be with you, very determined to um, have a productive life. Um, this could also be somebody that you dealt with in the past and you ended something with also too. Okay, because this person was a devil to you. But this person that wants to end this cycle of being a devil so that he could be with you. Interesting. Okay. You could be somebody out here in your boss energy. Um, out here getting it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he feels, he looks at you like she matches my fly. She's matches me. She's determined. She's a boss like me. You know, I mean, I'm feeling that he figured you guys could be a power couple. Okay. What else about this person? What else about this person that's floating around? My Gemini. My divine feminine. This is a person that's very good in bed, okay? You are a person that's very good in bed. He's blessed with the magic stick, and you blessed with the golden twat. So this person feels that you guys, that you just match totally. The sex between you two is phenomenal. You know, um, he's thinking now. He's like, no wonder her poo nanny is so good, and no wonder I'm so good in bed. This is my twin. This is my divine counterpart. We're supposed to be together. This could be somebody that messed up the relationship between you and him in the past. And he wants to reconnect with you. He wants to have a new beginning with you. If this is somebody from your past, Gemini, you know exactly who this is. Yeah, this person is manifesting you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he wants a relationship. We both wear Gucci, Max my fly. Yeah, you match his fly, yeah. What you doing in the caddy? I'm just stunting like my daddy. Yeah, y'all could be, uh, like to dress. You, you, both of you dress nice. Both of you like nice quality things. Um, y'all just alike, y'all compliment each other. I mean, y'all just alike, you know? And he's like, she's just like me. <laughs> That's why I can't stand her ass, okay? <laughs> okay Ooh, this person is mad too he is upset he is upset because he wants this connection and you don't this person also has a hard on you, you, you do it for him you do it for him yeah you know what I'm saying yeah <laughs> okay okay this could be somebody that walked away from you in the past. He walked away from you, left you behind, and now he wants to clean up himself, put on his best zoot suit, and come around you and try to be all friendly, smelling good, you know what I'm saying? Um, giving you flowers, you know what I'm saying? But he's just a snake. You look at him as a snake because in the past he played a lot of games, you know what I'm saying? So you're not interested in anything that he has to say. You know, this person wants to be in your energy. He wants your energy. People are out here watching you. Um, you tapped into a frequency uh, where you discovered that you had this potential to be on some type of broadcasting or something. Yeah, you took a leap of faith and you walked out and you trusted your spirit guides and you let your spirits guide you um, to whatever you're doing now. And this is your strength. You know, um, um, this is something that you created. 
and this this person is looking and knowing that your creativity comes from your sacral chakra and he's seeing something that you create and he know that your sacral chakra energy is on point right now so he wants to get in it like i said he had a heart on he wants to mingle in your temple so that he can get some of this energy because he sees you manifesting he sees you creating and your creativity and your emotions are attached to your sacral energy so he wants to attach himself to that okay okay what else this person walked away from you you done been through it back and forth back and forth with this person and you're not doing it no more Okay, see, that's the ups and downs. This is a frog, okay? This is a frog from your past that's very lustful. We played a lot of games, slept around with a lot of women, did a lot of ups and downs, if you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but this person uh, wants to come back around now, and he wants to come back around and hook it up tight with you because his ass is going to jail. He's going to jail, and he needs you to lean on. Ain't that about nothing? <laughs> Ain't that about nothing? He wants your energy. I don't know if he's trying to manifest off your energy so he won't go to jail. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't want a commitment with this person. You don't want a commitment with this person. And he's trying to lock you down so that you can be there for him while his ass in jail. Because that call from so-and-so, boy, nobody got time for that. I know I ain't trying to keep my life on hold for nobody, so don't mess with me and go to jail and think I'm going to be with you. It's a done one button, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, this person uh, is pitiful. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Girl, please, ain't nobody trying to get with him. You know what I'm saying? This person, um, you're somebody that don't want children. This person is trying to hook up with you, y'all, because these cards fell out together. But this was the one that was on top. But this was what's behind it. You know somebody that don't want children, or your children are grown. This person feels you are an awesome mother. This person could be a single dad and think that you will be a good mother to their children. So he had probably has custody of his child or children, and he wants you to take care of him while he's in jail. What? <laughs> <laughs> what you like we ain't having it into that baby kids <laughs> ain't nobody gonna take care of your damn kids boy what is wrong with these people divine feminine y'all ain't out there being that good that gullible are you you done been through too many ups and downs with this person you know what i'm saying more downs than up you know what i'm saying and to take care of his ugly ass kids I mean, you know what I'm saying? You know, and I say they're ugly, you know what I'm saying, because they're ugly. You know what I'm saying? I mean, these are karmic children. They're ugly on the inside, and it definitely is going to show on the outside. Them be the kids to be like, you ain't my mama. They be all in your refrigerator, you know what I'm saying, rambling all through your things, you know what I'm saying? And he like, me and me and the mother, we don't, we don't. We don't, we don't whoop our children. We let them be whatever. I beat the kid's ass around my house. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So we, we ain't got time for that. You ain't, you need to raise your babies or whatever. You don't want no children. You don't want no commitment with him. And he just need to go ahead and just take his ass to jail and find somebody else to take care of his kids. Girl, he crazy. What's wrong with him? <laughs> Girl, what is wrong with these fools out here? They think we some damn fools, don't they? <sighs> hey, man, we got to stop giving out. Um, that energy that we gonna be some damn fools, man. I mean, really? You don't want his rosemary babies. You don't want his booger nose ass kids. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I'm, I'm not, y'all, y'all, yeah, y'all say what y'all want about me, you know what I'm saying, y'all know y'all want to say this, y'all just ain't strong enough to say it, but I'm giving you a voice to say it, take your ugly ass kids on, and uh, uh, raise them with your family, because go to jail, because go to jail, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> what, girl, what, <laughs> they just go too far, don't they? <laughs> we could be a power couple and raise these children together. What? Did he help you raise yours? <laughs> then you know he got karmic children, so they harder to raise than a regular kid. Boy, get to 
Where your mama at? Where your mama at? You let my mama show them ain't Dixie Cuphead ass child. Get your, hey, get your child. And they be needing a haircut and, you know, mama don't do their hair. They hair be nappy. Ain't nobody finna. Man. Can I have a piece of your bread? No, get out of here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, baby, you ain't got to deal with it. What? Yeah. yeah, whatever. He wants you to hold it down while he do a bid with his cheering. Yeah, okay. And you ain't got none? Uh, okay. If I did have some, uh, okay. <laughs> Boy, you better get you some biz fizz. Let's see, let's get this, let's get this out here, y'all. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is a manipulating ass person, an emotionally manipulating ass person. You know what I'm saying? He think he's slick. You know what I'm saying? So he gonna come to you and tell you, I don't wanna fight with you no more, baby. I don't wanna fight with you no more. You know what I'm saying? It really wasn't me that was doing that. You know what I'm saying? It was my wife or whoever, his baby mama, whoever he, she was with, she the one that deal with this spell work. You know what I'm saying? She the one that be sacrificing cats and stuff like that. She the one be doing that because she jealous of you. She got low self-esteem. Um, um, she she use her looks. She pretty. She lose her use her looks to get what she want. You know what I'm saying? She ain't nothing but a whore. That's all she is. You know what I'm saying? She was the one that was doing the spell work. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. You know, but now I see through the illusion of her, you know, she she wasn't what I thought she was. Now, uh, he's focused on you now. I'm watching you online, you know what I'm saying, and I'm seeing you on stage. You know, this person watching you and studying you because this person wants to come back in your life and apologize to you. So he's trying to see what you like, what you don't like, your moods and all this stuff. So it's some type of way online that he's watching you, you know. And then this chick that he's with, that he just left, she's studying you because she wants to be like you. She wants to be on a platform like you. So everything that you do, she's writing it down and studying you. You know what I'm saying? Because he don't want to be with her. You know what I'm saying? He don't want to be with her. This is somebody that's younger than him, a young pretty girl. You know what I'm saying? That uh, he thought that he was had a spiritual connection with, but he don't. It's just somebody young, somebody immature. And he just don't want to go through uh, the ups and downs with her no more. He don't want to go through the ups and downs no more. He's tired of that. He's tired of that. You know what I'm saying? He's tired of being the only one working in the house, but not the only one spending the money. She just run up all the credit cards. She just worried about uh, what type of wig she got, the latest shoe, or the outfit that she could wear to go to the club. That's all she worried about. You know what I'm saying? I mean, she's dead weight to him. You know what I'm saying? He's paying everything. This is somebody that has too many irons in the fire. He's tired of juggling his finances. He's tired of going through uh, ups and downs with her. He's just tired of it. He's not accepting her love offer. So she's studying you. She has her eyes on you. She wants to be like you because she knows that he's coming your way. Okay? But this person is taking his ass to jail. Okay? This mother is unfit. Okay. This mother is unfit, so he probably won custody of the children um, in court. And he wants you to be a bonus parent. <laughs> Girl, please. Mm -hmm. This person is uh, want to play mind games on you. I don't want to fight with you no more. You know what I'm saying? I just want to keep it real. Yeah, real these nuts. Get your ass out of here. Ain't nobody going to help you take care of your kids. Get your ass out of here. Ain't nobody finna help you take care of your dysfunctional ass kids that you don't have by this dysfunctional ass woman because you was dysfunctional and you want to put your burden on the divine feminine? Get your ass out of here. You know what I'm saying? I mean, going on. You know what I'm saying? This person, you not sleeping with this person. You don't want to speak to this person. This person could be trying to message you and you ain't trying to hear nothing he's trying to say. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the spell work that they was do that whoever was doing on you did not work. You know what I'm saying? This person is just bad news. This person is bad news. Um, 
He want to play mind games on you, girl. He want to play mind games and tell you, I don't want to fight with you no more. But he's doing this because he wants to try to get you back in his grasp because he don't want you to move forward. He don't want you to move forward at all, you know. But the woman that he's with, his baby mama don't want him to move forward. See, this is a fake-ass empress. She was trying to be like the divine feminine. That's why she's studying her. But she's not the empress. And he didn't figure this out. He see through, through the illusion that she's not who she pretended to be. You know what I'm saying? This could be someone that uh, moved from his hometown across the body of water to move with this girl. You know, he thought it was some potential over there. You know what I'm saying? But it's not. It's not. This person is very immature. This person only cares about herself. She wants to be the center of attention. You know, that's why you're getting the attention out here on some type of platform. That's why she's studying you so she can get the attention off of you. She crazy. This is somebody he ended a cycle with, a toxic cycle with, and she don't want it to end. That's why she's trying to pretend to be you, okay? He's not interested in her. He's not interested in her. You know what I'm saying? Um, actually, he's fighting her, you know what I'm saying? Because she's doing spell work on him because she don't want him to go nowhere. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She attacking his finances and everything. And he's trying to come up out of that. He's trying to come up out of that. Um, get his finances together because she's attacking his. She shows attacking it. And he looks at y'all like y'all could be a power couple and y'all could raise these kids together. <laughs> you know, my son, my, um, my guy, he has two children, you know, and I don't mind, you know what I'm saying, um, having his uh, kids in our life. You know what I'm saying? That's what divine feminists do. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, when I look for homes and stuff like that, I look for it because they don't live with us. They live with their mom you know, in another state. But we look at homes and places to stay as if the children are gonna be with us. You know, that's how I look. When um, I buy my child something, I think that I should be buying them something too. When I buy my uh, my child his winter clothes or his spring's clothes, I feel bad that his kids aren't here to, you know what I'm saying? Because I want, you know what I'm saying? I look at mine as his and his as mine, and this person knows that a divine feminine looks at the things that way. So that's why he's trying to uh, manipulate you, play mind games on you, so he can get you to deal with him so you can help raise his kids while he take his funky ass to jail. Because this chick, this young chick, she's an unfit mother. She's only focused on herself. Okay? Yeah. And this is somebody he ended it with. That's why she's studying you. I want to be like her because she must know that he's coming your way, that he wants to be with you. <laughs> this person is exhausted. This person is tired of fighting this crazy-ass little girl. I mean, this is a young girl, so he messed with somebody he's about 20, 25 years older than. He must went through a midlife crisis or something. And, and, and she's affecting his money and... And she's spending more than what she's bringing in. She don't care. You know, she's lazy. You know what I'm saying? She won't take her to the house. She won't take her to the kids. And she's just spending out money. And she's hurting his pocket. He's in financial ruin, and he wants to come up out of that. And he figures y'all could be a power couple. Plus, you got that good cookie. You know what I'm saying? He could be have a nice, balanced relationship, a give-and-take relationship. You know what I'm saying? Instead of going through the ups and downs over there with her. You know what I'm saying? Toxicity. That's why he has on red. You know what I'm saying? He, uh, they up one time, they down his time. You know what I'm saying? He tired of jumping. He tired of being on this roller coaster. And whatever he done got into over with, with, with this chick is, is having him to go to jail. And he must have the children. And he wants you to come in and be in this relationship. Boy, please. You know what I'm saying? Boy, please. You the best option for his kids. That's what it is. <laughs> but you don't want no damn children. You ain't trying to be in no commitment. And all you all you can do to him is say, uh, boy, take your ass to jail. Who is you? What? You know what I'm saying? And he treated you horrible in the past. How dare he? He walked away from, from you for this person. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Now you gonna come back out smiling, trying to be friends with you. Tell me I don't wanna fight with you no more. Giving you flowers. He's just a snake and he just play games, girl. He just play games. He loves the the energy of you. He loves that because he knows that you will be a good mother to his children. <sighs> Boy, if you don't take your ass home somewhere, I'm telling you. Well, this is what I have for who wants to hook up with my Gemini. If you feel anybody could benefit from this reading, please share the consciousness, share the awareness. And I'm looking at this person. It's a frog, divine feminine, a ribbit. You know what I'm saying? It's not a prince. But it's up to you to make the ultimate decision. It's up to you to decipher if you should hook up with this person or not. I'm just telling you his intentions, and his intentions are not good. For his children it is, but for you, no. Keep on walking. This is somebody you ended something with. Keep on walking. You ain't got nothing to do with him and his woman that he left you for. Don't let him come back to you with his booger nose ass kids. We not doing it. Take your ass home. Go to your mama house. Don't come over here. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving you a voice. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know what to say to him, email me. I'll tell you what to say. I'll tell you what to say. You know what I'm saying? Because we, we, we ain't rocking like that. We're not doing it. All right? All right. I love y'all. And I will see y'all on the next Who Wants to Hook Up. Y'all be easy out there and, you know, hey, go to your mama house with that and take them over grannies. You know what I'm saying? Who is you? I don't even know who you is. Who is you? Where I know you from? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I love y'all. And I see y'all on the next Who Wants to Hook Up. Y'all be easy. Bye-bye.